Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we also get our Windows 11 24H2 Patch Tuesday security update available that Microsoft started rolling out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 11th of February. And for this month, the update for 24H2 is KB5051987. Now the update is a compulsory security update. So just to have a look at the vulnerabilities that have been patched. So for 24H2, there are 35 vulnerabilities that are fixed. That's four more than both Windows 10 and Windows 11 23H2. And there are two critical vulnerabilities which have been patched, which is one more than Windows 10 and 23H2 as well. And your two critical vulnerabilities, which is ranked as your highest vulnerability, they are listed as remote code execution vulnerabilities, which means that access can be gained to your system over the internet or over a network if those vulnerabilities are not patched. So 35 vulnerabilities in total, two critical have been fixed for 24H2 with KB5051987. Now, as always with the Patch Tuesday security updates, the update will also include improvements that were part of the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out towards the end of January, and that's KB5050094, which included a couple of um, new features and improvements and important bug fixes. And just a quick recap for the purpose of this video, because I did post a whole video on that update so if you want more information i'll leave that link down below and in the end screen so just a quick recap the update improves the previews that show when you hover over apps on the taskbar an icon will appear in the system tray when you use an app that supports windows studio effects and that's only rolling out, as far as I'm aware, for Copilot Plus PCs. It adds the new Simpson EXTG simplified Chinese font. And a nice improvement um, for the File Explorer, as I posted with my 23H2 video earlier today, is when you right-click an item, in the File Explorer left pane, the folder, the new folder command now, appears on the context menu which is something Microsoft stripped out of Windows 11 that has always been available in Windows 10 and if you click on folder that'll create a new folder so if we go to my downloads there we go there's my new folder so I think that is definitely a step in the right direction and has been a long time coming and if we head into our settings time and language, date and time, you can now change the time zones in settings without being an administrator, which was a bit of a bug. So that's been fixed and is also listed as a new feature. And it also includes four file explorer fixes. Go check that video out for more information. Three mouse fixes. And a big one is it fixes the digital analog converter known issue. I'll leave the video for the DAC known issue down below and in the end screen. It fixes USB audio device drivers and fixes USB cameras and fixes hard dynamic range HDR and more. And I'll leave the video on the upgrade block regarding HDR gaming issues. I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen because that issue now has also been addressed and there's a whole lot of other bug fixes that are taking place under the hood and that's more or less what's new in our latest patch tuesday security update for windows 11 24h2 5051987 and because the update is compulsory unless you pause the update or have blocked windows updates on your system if we head into the about Windows menu just to see our build upgrade for Windows 11 24 H2 after the update has been applied OS build is sitting on 
26,100.3194. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.